In this problem, we're going to find the electric potential due to a long, straight, charged rod that's lying on the x-axis. The length of the rod is L. The distance from one end of the rod to the origin is D. And we want the voltage here. The formula sheet will has the formula that the voltage is the integral of k dq over r, where r is the distance from the point of interest to the little bit of charge. This is a scalar quantity, and it's r, not r squared. So, as we have done in the past for calculating electric fields due to charged rods, we need to break our rod into little charge elements, call them dq. The thickness of our charge element will be dx, and the distance from the point of interest to that charge element in the equation on the formula sheet it's an r, but in our case we'll let it be x because we're in the x direction. So I can rewrite my integral as k dq over x. Now, in order to integrate that we need to get q in terms of x. So we use linear charge density as we did with the electric field. The linear charge density I'm going to call lambda which is equal to the total charge over the total length. If we're using that in an integral, it's a little bit of charge over a little bit of length. So I can rewrite dq as lambda dx. Subbing that into the integral, I now have lambda dx over x. And the limits of integration for x are from d to d plus l. Lambda is a constant here, so I can pull it out. If lambda were not a constant, but were a function of x, you would put that function into the integral now. But in this example, lambda is constant. So I'm simply integrating dx over x, which is a log. So I get lambda k ln x evaluated from d to d plus l, which gives lambda k ln d plus l over d. And that's the answer. Now, let's just do one more variation here. What if that rod were curved? So if we had a curved rod, let's say the curve is like this, and the radius of that curve is r, and we want the voltage here, We do the same thing. We divide the rod into little charge elements, dq. But now the length of that rod is a little arc length. So if you recall the arc length, if the angle here is d theta and the radius is r, then this arc length is ds, which is r d theta. So now when I define my linear charge density, lambda, I have a little bit of charge over a little bit of arc, which becomes r d theta. So dq now becomes lambda r d theta. Now, if the formula for voltage is the same, it's the integral of k dq over r. Now in this case, it's capital R because every single dq element is the same distance from that point of interest. So subbing in for dq, we have lambda r d theta over r. The r's cancel, and my limits of integration are from 0 to pi, which just gives k lambda pi. Now, something I forgot to do in both of these examples is replace lambda with q over l because lambda was not a value that was given in my problem. So for the first one, I have to replace lambda with q over l. So if I go back to the straight rod, the answer should be kq over l ln d plus l over d. And that makes sure that my answer only has letters that are given in the problem. For the second one, uh, it would have to be a lambda would be q over that arc length, which is half of a circle, so it would be pi times r. And so 
for the voltage due to the curved rod, I would have to write k pi times q over pi r. Pi's cancel, and I get k q over r.